welcome again in the PHP Basic course part 10. Today we will finally do some work with user interaction between the server side and the client side using the PHP and HTML browser. Okay, as you remember with the lesson with HTTP fundamentals, the whole interaction of web application is based on the request and the response between the client side which is the HTML browser and the server side which is the web server in our case it's Apache with the PHP module and the server is doing some stuff and sending back to the client with the response which is actually the HTML site displayed on the uh, client browser. It's a front end. Yes, this is our view. This is our uh, user interface. This is the way how we interact with the server. Until now, all our lessons with objects, uh, simple arrays and playing with values and functions does not do any interaction between the human on the client side and the server side. All the things we have um, assigned values and changing stuff in the server side. We do this, all the scripting on the server side so the user has no interaction between the server and the browser. All the stuff was done on the server and we use a browser only to see the result of the response so if you take uh, our last uh, lesson about the passing parameters to the object and use the fireback to change to check the uh, method that was performed it was a get because we simply put an address here the request with get method was sent and the uh, web server uh, with uh, PHP module give us an answer looks like this so uh, in the head headers there wasn't anything sent to the uh, server uh, only the stuff which the browser sends automatically so the uh, content that we need uh, uh, what is our browser etc etc the mozilla it's with the firefox and the windows okay today we'll do more we will finally create some form and send the value uh, to the php and do some stuff with those value. How to do it? Uh, the HTML technology was invented many years ago and um, the thing that was put here to interact with user was the HTML forms. I will create a new simple HTML page without any scripting yet and I have created a new file for this and I call it form.html and I especially want be given here in PHP because I want to send those form to PHP uh, script by I want to send it from a static HTML page to show you uh, that is possible to send from HTML directly to the PHP URL and here we'll do some processing. Uh, this is our form. Now let's check if it works. Form. This is our form. Okay. And um, this is really static HTML page with nothing more, nothing logic, no scripting. It could even not 
uh, have the PHP because if we if you put here some PHP instructions, for example, echo and try to serve it, you will see that this is a static HTML page, so it is not processed by the web server. Web servers recognize only the files with the extension PHP. This is real static HTML page. Okay. And how to create a form in HTML? If you have uh, completed any course of HTML, you know that there is a tag called form. Uh, we have the parameter called action to send the form to the uh, receive PHP to the uh, special uh, URL. We use here uh, receive PHP and put some data to those scripts. At, at, at now we have not created uh, the receive PHP file already, but we will do it in a few seconds. Uh, so now I only have create a form. To create a form, I also create some input text. So the syntax is here, and the name of the let's see will be my name with no value, and to send a form. This is a, basically an HTML knowledge, basic knowledge of HTML. If you don't know, please please we go back to HTML course. And I will put here some submit button. It's send it. It's needed to do the work. And okay, what do we have now? Okay, we got nice input text so we can do put some data here and nice button called send it if I press those button I get the 404 not found because I was trying to send the request to the URI or URL called receive PHP which is actually not exist, it's true. But let's take a look at the request. There was a parameter in this request called my name and I wrote them some random characters. I will go back and type here John and send it again. And what happened? In this parameter, sorry, in this parameter we get the value John sent. So all the interaction between client side and server side is done by the parameters sent with the method get or method post. We will discuss it later. Uh, but you need to remember that all interaction between uh, client side and server side is done by sending request and responses. So we send here a request with parameter my name and it was set to John. And if you are uh, perceptive, you will notice that in our uh, request the value my name John was sent in the URL, yes, the get method is passing parameter directly in the URL. After the uh, base URL, there is a character of question mark, and then is the parameter name equal character the value. If we have more parameters, there will be an ampersand and again the parameter name and the parameter value. And this is how the browser sends parameters using method get to the server. Okay, so now we have to create the file that will receive those value. Let's do it quickly. Create new file. And 
this will be received.php file. And how to get the parameters from a request in PHP? There is a special set of uh, variables called the system variables and to access it is um, basically an structure of array array we were talking about arrays later uh, sorry in previous uh, lessons so we use an array called the, uh, the underscore get and here we give the value of the parameter that was sent from client side to server side. Let's save it and check the results. Let's go back to the form, static form, form HTML. Here is our value John and I will send it. What happened? Hmm, nice. We get the response with the word John. And this is a response from PHP. Uh, to those requests. Those requests were sent and the parameter was passed called my name. The value was John and the answer was simply John because in our script in our script there was simply an echo instruction of the get to get those value. And this is how the parameters and how the actions and any interactions could be done with the client side and server side. All other technologies that you know, the Ajax, the posting, is actually the same principle. The only difference is in the method of PHP. There is a get, post, put, uh, delete, etc. But the principle is the same always there is an interaction in the header of HTML request HTTP request sorry we get the response from the server which is the HTTP response okay I think it's quite enough for this lesson and in the next lesson we will discuss in, in a more detailed version thanks for watching